Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here in beautiful Honolulu, PTC 2018, my good friend, Mr. Todd Coleman, the CEO and founder, president of eStructure. Also formerly the founder of Collogic, so known thought leader in our industry. Todd, always a pleasure. Thank you, thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. Now, eStructure just opened a data center in near downtown Montreal. Can you tell us a little bit about why that location and why now? Yeah, so we're, we're pretty focused on uh, building hyperscale data centers. Um, we like the, the location of the downtown, just we've got a number of customers that still like to hug their servers, as well as customers that have latency concerns. So we already have an existing downtown facility that's five megawatts, 20,000 square feet, that's rather network dense. And so extending a fiber loop to the new facility to allow those customers to grow New facilities, 150,000 square feet, 30 megawatts. So if customers are looking for real scale but still want the ability to connect to the, the many options from a network perspective, we can offer that through this new facility, which we call MTL2. Oh, phenomenal. And that kind of leads me into um, my next question, how this new facility plays a role in, into your existing business model and the type of customers that you're catering to. Yeah, so today we have about 850 customers. Those range from small to medium-sized enterprises to large hyperscale cloud networks. And so for those customers, you know, look, ours is a growth proposition. We're all about high density customers, both in our downtown facility as well as our larger facility, which used to be the, Mont the old Montreal Gazette printing building. So for us, it's about their ability to grow and whatever their power and cooling demands, we can grow with them. And uh, being a known uh, visionary in the industry, uh, and as well as your, your amazing leadership team that you put together over at eStructure, you have a very, a very unique focus particularly on catering to those demanding enterprise connectivity needs. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, they are demanding. I mean, they're, they're, their growth forecast, they don't, you know, their growth forecast is measured in months, not years. Yeah. And so when they want it, they want it on demand. So whether it's from a connectivity perspective and access to the networks, the on-ramps to the internet or the off-ramps the, as the case may be, or whether it's just their unique power demands. You know, we're finding customers more and more that are looking for megawatts of demand, but their timeframes look more like a retail customer on a onesie, twosie cabinet basis. So for us, the ability to turn up megawatts measured in a couple of months rather than, you know, six to 12 months, those times have changed so it really is capacity on demand and that's what we're trying to cater to in terms of the scale you know we've built out a team we're focused on processes uh, we have an incredible capital structure with some incredible partners and so our ability to scale with those customers is exactly the value proposition uh, where we aim to bring to the market and that's amazing you know you don't hear this every day megawatts in months um, it's, it's the type of hyper growth that you know, really does uh, cater to, to those enterprise needs right now. So amazing. You also announced that eStructure has just closed, let's see, 180 million in committed capital. Clearly that's going to be uh, towards your, your ongoing growth. Correct. So that's both organic growth. We're building out a brand new facility that we expect that we'll invest uh, upwards of $150 million into that facility over the next several years. Uh, but we're also uh, targeting acquisitions. We're, we're going to grow inorganically as well as we sort of spread our wings across Canada. You know, we talked about sort of our strategic investment partners. You know, we got an incredible group of equity partners that want to scale with the business. They're capable of putting a lot more money to, to work as long as I find them great opportunities uh, for their investment dollars. And you mentioned Canada being your, your marketplace. Why would uh, big enterprise companies and the OTTs, why would, be, why would they be interested in Canada for, for their data center needs? Look, there's a number of reasons. One is uh, the climate in Canada is, is very conducive to, to very very green power. Uh, we, get, we get the opportunity to use, in, in the case of Montreal and a lot of areas, over nine months of free cooling a year. Uh, certainly those temperatures and, and unique climate helps with that. Secondly, we have some of the lowest power rates uh, in certain geographies within Canada uh, of all of North America. In the case of Montreal, we're looking at close to 5.2 cents a kilowatt hour Canadian dollars. And we which, you know, for U.S. dollar investors, you know, there's still a 30% discount on top of that. In addition, there's a number of customers that are very sensitive to the security of their data. Mm -hmm. uh, and they want, they want to be close to the U.S., but they prefer to be just outside of the border of the U.S. Uh, for Patriot Act reasons and other reasons. Uh, and Canada is actually at the forefront of what we call uh, data sovereignty. There's certain types of data, whether it's personal information, medical information, et cetera, that 
the certain governments are requiring to be housed within their borders when it's accessed by the end users. Canada happens to be at the forefront. So I think we're going to see greater proliferation of data being housed in Canada and other countries like that over the upcoming years. And for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? Uh, they can contact us at eStructure.com. We'd be happy to hear from them. Well, you heard it, eStructure.com. Todd, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.